Hi everybody, I'm Argolfomf. In this video, I will play Enigmatus 3 from start to finish. It's going to be the whole game in one video. Uh, the name of this game is Shadow of Karkala. It's kind of an odd name for for the game. I would have gone with something else, like uh, the Evil Mountain Monastery. Or, uh, I don't know, Stopping the Demon? Well, it's not just about I would stopping. probably freak people out if there's like demon in the title I want of the revenge. Game. He took Emily from me, remember? Rick, I know, but we can't let anger cloud our judgment. That will only lead to us making mistakes. And Rick! <laughs> You need to level it out! I can't! Damn thing stuck! Now I, I, I have an idea. They could call it like the monster of the mountains, because the, the monster hit our airplane, I believe. You, you, we got a brief glimpse of the monster there. We're going to see more of it later, and I should not be talking so much here, because otherwise this video is going to be seven hours long. So I'll, uh, I'll get straight to playing the game. <laughs> uh, click here to fly. <laughs> Climb forward some more. It, it's a very action-packed opening. If I grab this, I'm gonna hook onto this belt. Climb up some more. Oh. Found the problem. Can you do something? Can't you do something, Rick? Well, I'll I'll uh, examine the window. Smash it. Move that thing aside. That's better. No, no, no! Hey, are you okay? I'm all right. What's going on? Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Damn it! Come on! What's that smell? Wait, Rick, don't! Don't start the engine until I tell you. There's a fuel leak somewhere. Hurry up! We're flying straight towards a mountain. All right, so very action-packed. The action is still... I'm going to skip the tutorial. I don't want to see that tutorial. Uh, it's still a very action-packed start to this game. The action has not stopped. Our airplane is about to crash. And we are eventually going to be told what these characters are doing. But if you've played the first two games, you can probably guess. Fuel pumps guess. are dead. We won't make it without both engines. Because these characters were both in the first two games of the series. They are trying to stop the villain from the first two games. The evil preacher looks like he's uh, in the mountains. The mountains of Karkala. Are, uh, as we'll see, not too long from now. That we're not calling it the Karkala. We're calling it... Um, the, the proper name, it's the mountains of the Himalayas. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a moment. Let me put in these batteries to fix this flashlight. That way I can see what's going on. The fuel pipes are damaged. I need to fix them. So I'm gonna use my knife on this fire extinguisher here. That gives me the line. I'll secure it with duct tape. And there we go. Try it now! Brick, tell me we're not going to crash. Blasted stupid thing! Remember Maple Creek? Uh, we are this close to finding him! Uh, oh! Uh, oh yeah, that's crashing. Yeah. Anyway, four days earlier! I'm a private investigator. For the past few years, I've been hunting a serial murderer named The Preacher. Now I'm searching for any clue as to where he might have disappeared to. I came back to where it all began. The only problem is... Rick, I already checked the place top to bottom. Three times. Darn. There has to be a clue about where he's headed. Call you later. Might have a lead. 
Alright, so the first game of the series was called uh, Ghosts of Maple Creek. It didn't really have anything to do with the ghosts. It had to do with, well, this evil villain, the preacher, he used this bell to control the town's folk. And a bunch of other stuff happened as well. But the, the important thing is uh, the preacher had his evil hideout here, used his evil bell to do evil things. We're going to learn a bit more about this preacher character here. Yeah, so because the first game was called Ghosts of Maple Creek and it didn't really have anything to do with ghosts, that's why I'm thinking that this game could have had a more obscure title like that. Like the monster, uh, the griffin, uh, the demon of uh, the mountain. Let's see, here we are going to use our loaded gun to shoot this. That's going to give me some shears. Which I'll use over here on the left in a moment. I'm gonna grab this uh, token that should let me get into the preacher's secret hideout underneath the bell. There's something down there. How did I miss it? Yeah, how did you miss that? My goodness. Detective, I do not have faith in your detective skills anymore. Well, when you grab the pocket knife, it opens up this area. So I'm gonna use the shears and start the puzzle. With this puzzle you want to put the sockets in the right spots. So it's going to be one on the right, you go up, and then one on the left. You go up, one on the right, then you go up, and one on the left. And that's how you do it. It's sort of a zigzag pattern, going back and forth between left and right, moving up once each time. So now what we want to do is use our gun to shoot this. I don't think you can shoot your gun like immediately and, and hit it immediately. I think the game really does force you to wait until the second time that your cursor is over the gun. Our, your gun cursor is over whatever the thing is that we hit. Whatever. We've got this. We're going to attach it to the car and we're going to back up the car now. on, back it up, gets rid of the bell, kind of, it just pulls the bell aside so we can see the preacher's evil hideout, there we go, there we go, oh and let me uh, open up my pocket knife, because I'm going to need two of those things in the pocket knife, so here's where the token goes, long ago, a great battle was fought between the demon Asmodai and the Archangel Raphael. Now this is going to be an explanation of the big backstory to the Preacher, mostly contained in the second game of the series. Raphael slew Asmodai and cast him into oblivion. His followers, the Reapers, scattered. Millennia passed, and the demon's calls somehow breached our world. The Reapers rejoiced. So now we have a puzzle where I need to move this knife all over the screen, and I want to visit each spot once. Asmodai ordered his adherents to slay each other using the special ceremonial dagger he had given them. Yes, it's a magic dagger. The magic demon dagger is the only thing that can kill one of these monstrous demon worshippers. Only the dagger could end their immortal lives. So this is the pathway. The, the tricky one is the first step, but then otherwise you're just going around and then back and then going around again. With each passing century, fewer and fewer of Asmodai's reapers walked the earth. At first, there were twelve. Today, there remains only one. The last reaper is meant to be the one who resurrects the demon and becomes his unholy vessel. And that one is the preacher. Okay, so that story makes sense. The evil preacher is trying to bring back a demon that was killed by the Archangel Raphael a long, long, long time ago. That's the general story of uh, what the preacher is doing. 
Only the last and strongest of the Reapers will the demon deem worthy enough to be his host. A week ago, the preacher killed the last of his fellow Reapers, meaning he's the only one left. All right, we're gonna take a look at this in just a moment. We, we, we're getting evidence, evidence inside my little phone, and, you know, that was also in the previous games where we had an evidence board and had to put clues together. So let's see, I'm gonna use my matches to light up this room and melt the ceiling wax. This. We're gonna use that map in just a moment. We're gonna match it with uh, the item we just saw. And then this is a puzzle. That's a hidden objects challenge. Here's more about that evil, evil ritual dagger. And here's the mountains, the Karakora Mountains. Uh, the, the, basically the Himalayan mountains. Yeah, so, uh, Karakorum, at least that's what I'm told. That's what the internet told me. I could be wrong about where they are, but yeah, no, no, no. They're, 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 they're sort of in the same general area. So I use the cracked ring. I'm going to put the pieces together and sticky wax. So I'm not sure why this game is called Shadow of Karkala uh, instead of using the proper name for those mountains. Because that's the real life name. I think Karkala was just a totally made up name for this game. Put the rings into place. Now I have three rings. And we're gonna rotate them to form a little picture here. It's a picture of uh, Raphael defeating the three-headed demon. I'm going to put that picture on the wall here. And now we have our hidden objects challenge. I need to find everything on the list. And if you don't like hidden objects, you can always do a matching game instead. Great. So the hidden objects are here. This one's relatively easy because it's the start of the game. They throw an easy one at players at the start of the game. Later on, they'll get far more difficult. Finding all the items opens up this. More important notes. I'm going to ignore that for now because I want to grab this other item. Calipers. It's a caliper's case. I need to open up the case, take out the pencil, use the pocket knife to sharpen the pencil. Now we have calipers, and we're going to have to use them over here. Great, and now let's check out the evidence board. Okay, let's summarize what we know. First, the preacher. I have to say, I do like this version of the evidence board, especially because it starts off really nicely. Uh, we, we have two items we put together for the preacher. You can zoom in on these items if you want. So this is uh, a picture about him trying to resurrect that evil demon and just some notes about him. He has demonic ambitions. The last living reaper will be the one chosen to resurrect the demon. The preacher seems to be our guy. I have no idea how he's going to do this. But one thing is clear. Wherever the resurrection is to take place, the preacher will be there. Makes sense. If he's obsessed with resurrecting this demon, he's going to go to the resurrection place. But where is it? You could probably guess based on the title of the game and the fact that I've mentioned it so many times. It's the Karkala Mountain. The location of Asmodai's resurrection should have some connection to Asmodai himself. Let's see if anywhere meets that requirement. So the three places in the world most connected to Asmodai are uh, the ocean, I is that Greenland? And then uh, the mountains. Hmm, a few places fit. But it appears the strongest connection is this mountain monastery, which is important to the preacher's plans. So, which one of those three places is most likely to have a mountain monastery? Well, obviously the mountains. Looks like I'm off to Karakarum. I need a more detailed map to find the exact location. I think I saw one on the coffin. Great, so now we're going to go to the monastery in Karakarum. And fortunately, the... That's it! Preacher left 
pretty detailed map here. Okay, so it's going to be three away from Dragon Peak, Shiv five away from Shivering Falls, and eight away from Silver Brook. So let's find these spots. So this is the one. This is number two. This is number three. So it's three away from this one. Set it to five. Five away from this one. And then eight away from this one. So there you are. Rick, I think we've got him. Tell you everything once we're safely in the air. All right, so that's a cool little introduction. Uh, it's the backstory to why our characters are down in the mountains. I don't know which uh, little Ooh, introduction section I like better. We had the action-packed one, and then we had the one which explains all the backstory. Where's Rick? L those were both pretty good. All right, so now the adventure is getting started for real. These damn seatbelts are trapping me. We, we have crash landed in the mountains, not super far away from uh, Karkala, but far away enough. So I'll get out of my seatbelt. Oh God, oh! Rick, Rick, he must have fainted. No, no, not Rick. Oh, we have to save him. We're gonna grab this lighter. The wreck is unstable. I'd better find a good anchor point outside before we fall. We're gonna use the lighter to free up the ski pole. And then we're gonna use the ski pole to get this canteen of water. That should wake up Mr. Rick. Oh good, there is water inside. Well, if there was no water inside, I suppose I could have thrown it at his head. That probably would have woken him up too. But that wouldn't have been very nice. Where, where am I? Climb to me, Rick. I'll pull you up. It's too unstable. Go, save yourself. Yeah, sure. Like I'd ever leave you behind. Give me a minute. I'll figure something out. Well, dumping water on his head gave us this pole, so obviously we're gonna grab it and use it to solve the puzzle. Uh, the puzzle is moving this box. That way we can get this crossbow. And we'll fire it at this tree in the distance. Oh, come on. I thought I could do it. There, three. I need to throw it down to Rick. Okay, Rick, grab on! Grab the rope! Come on! That was close. Let's find a way down the cliff. Where are we? I have no idea. Wonder if we can salvage anything. Let's take a look around. Well, believe it or not, we are actually on the road that leads directly to the mountains. So we kind of crash-landed exactly where we want to be. Except, uh, yeah, this bridge is out. That's not good. So we're going to have to tie a chain around this big old tree. Let me grab this item here. And... I found our map. Whoa! What is it? Can I have the map? I believe this one is yours. All right. Not much, but... Better than nothing. Yeah, so we're right here, and uh, this is the hermit's house. We'll just follow the road to the village, to the mountain, to the monastery. So we're directly just on the right path. Okay, so uh, I will use the stone claw. Oh, hold on a second. I need to grab that jar. Then I use the stone claw to dig here. Nice try. But we'll need to use more force if we're going to bring it down. Sure will. Let's grab this. It's a rag. We're going to dry it out. And then we're going to get some of this hot oil. So we use the oil here on this. That way we can burn it. We can burn it very, very well. Let's grab the chain. So dropping the tree knocked over this chain thing. 
the, the pole that was holding the chain. So I'm going to wrap the chain around the tree and around the statue. Then I'll burn the, those vines, which keep the statue up. The statue will fall, bringing the tree down with it. Nice. Come on. I'll give you a boost. First, let me check my lighter. Oh, it's not working. Okay, we'll have to fix it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to walk across this tree. It's narrow and slippery. I think I'll need some kind of pole to keep my balance. Yeah, that's not safe. But what's even uh, more unsafe is a hidden objects challenge. Let's see if we can find all these items. A vacuum bottle? I can't find anything. Okay, let's just use hints. Okay, there's lightning. And then, um, the whatever that stuff is. Yes, found it. And there's luck. Here is a wheel. I found at least one wheel. Uh, there's another wheel. Excellent. And the combination is 815, according to my notes. Uh, I mean, according to that list of items we need to find at the bottom of the screen, 815 is the combination. What does give me? That gives me evil, which is a picture of the villain. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Okay, there's the mountain. I still need a vacuum bottle. Uh, there it is. There's a vacuum bottle. A horizon and a predator. That is a horizon. That is a flag. Looks like I need to find three flags. I also need to find goggles. Okay, what's this? That gives me the goggles. Nice. I need to find a blanket, which is probably inside something else. I feel like something here, there, opens up for the blanket. Good. Almost done with this object challenge. There's a predator. Yes, that's nice. Uh, this is a flag. That's a flag I probably should have noticed. That's my country's flag. Country, uh, I, I mean, uh, I, that's the last item, which is the tent pole, and now we're gonna go across using the tent pole here. Okay, I'm ready. Click on the trunk to begin. You want to move your cursor left and right to balance. It's pretty simple, actually. It, you know, if the detective is too far to the right, you move your cursor to the left. If the detective is too far to the left, move the cursor to the right. There. So far, so good. Yeah. See, she's going so slowly, and she's not wobbling left and right, so it's 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 pretty simple. Finally. Solving this puzzle. Almost there. Gets us to the next location, which is the Hermit's Hut. Little snow. Oh. I do have a question here. Uh, I know how the detective gets across because she. Ooh, finally. Let's see what's behind those trees. She had this puzzle of getting across. How does Rick get across? Would you look at that? We made it. Oh, wait, wait. Counted my chickens before they hatched. Rick doesn't have a big pole to help him balance, so how did he get across that treacherous tightrope walking tree challenge? So at the hermit's hut? Rick, look inside. Oh, we have a dead hermit. It's not good. And the door is stuck. We have a puzzle opening the door to get inside. We also have a chain here and a conveniently uh, located expedition. They are right at the monastery. We should meet all these people. They can help us. It won't be easy to get it open. Someone broke the key off in the lock. All right, so I'm going to grab uh, the axe handle here and then look down here. Those stairs. Someone cut them apart. But why? Maybe someone was trying to seal... I don't know what. Or they were afraid of something. Or they were just trying to stop us from following them. That's my theory. Okay, hatchet handle goes here so I can get the hatchet, and I'll use the hatchet to break down this door. Oh, it's a blunt hatchet. That's right. I need to put the chain here. 
That way I can sharpen it. And now I can break down the door. The body's cold. Whoever did this is long gone. So we need to open this man's hand. We get a medallion and some keys. We use the keys to open up this door. Well, not door, window. But yeah, the the, the fireplace is still hot. So maybe whoever Look at this. Maybe whoever did this is not long gone. Fireplace is still hot. We put the books up here and press them. That tells us there's some sort of secret lock there. Look. Okay, okay. This is more important. Both Preacher and Raven. Why was this old man so interested in the Reapers? I don't know, but he has the same enemies we do. So maybe he can help us. He can help us. He has this information saying, hey, here's a way to defeat those evil reapers. A way to defeat the reapers? Do you think he meant the dagger, or is there another way? Hard to say. Someone was willing to kill for this information, or to keep it secret. It is a secret, unknown way to defeat the Reapers. We don't know about it yet. So obviously we need to find this man's notes. They are written in a completely different language, but don't worry, we'll, we'll translate his notes and then figure out how, how, how do we stop these Reapers? Invisible ink. Mm-hmm. Heat it up. Will do. Oh, and that thing fell down there. Well, that's unfortunate. It's kind of a clue, and this note is also a clue. There's something in the basement. I wonder if those chronicles can tell us more about how to defeat the Reapers. Let's see. I think I do need I'm to... I'm afraid that this mechanism requires the books to be arranged in a specific order. I think I saw a photo that shows how to put them. I need to double check that this is in fact a puzzle. It looks like a puzzle. Of course it's a puzzle. <laughs> but take a look. It should be in this box. Our characters need to know it's a puzzle before we can look in this box. Here's a photo of the old man. That's his name. And here's a picture of his granddaughter. Oh, she's so cute. Very cute, very cute. And we will use that to solve this puzzle. So green on the far right, red on the far left. Like this. Let's see, light blue then. Yeah, there we go. And now we want to press the symbols in order from largest to smallest. So this symbol, this symbol, this symbol, this one, and that one. That gives us the key to the basement. Basement's right over here. Uh, hard to move it. I'll do it. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. I like how he moves the table and shows no interest in this trap door. He's like, I don't really care about that. I'll just move it for you. Sure had a lot of stuff, this guy. That's all I'm good for. <laughs> I'm good for uh, moving carpets and tables. Wait. Look closer. And wow, he discovered that booby trap. I totally would not have figured that out on my own. Alright, so now we can get inside, check out this stuff. Map to the village. Rope, ladder, and the translation. See, this is the exact same page that was upstairs. This book looks exactly like the one we found earlier, but I've never seen this language before. It has all its pages, too. Weren't some missing from the other one? Probably, but we can't be sure until we translate it. So let's translate it, and we're also gonna grab that. So that's a kettle. We're gonna fill it with hot water to boil, uh, basically, Fill it with hot water and melt that ice. 
so let's actually do that now. I put the rope ladder down here. Get the kettle in here, fill it with water. Great, now we have some water, we're gonna warm it up on that stove, which is still hot. First, let's do some translation. This is a translation puzzle. Put the book down, and then we're just gonna find the matching symbols. Alrighty. This isn't so bad. I, I, I can do this puzzle. I think. I know that was just the sound for the uh, skip button filling up, but it still scared me. It sounded like there was a monster coming. Yikes. Speaking of which, we are going to see a monster soon. This Wrath of God, do you think we could use it against him? I'm not sure, but it's worth a try. Yeah. So this is the weapon, the Wrath of God. The Wrath of God can destroy these Reapers. So Let's look at the evidence again. Maybe we can put it all together now. So when we were opening up the window, you kind of saw the monster fly by, the monster that made our plane crash, it's going to return. There it is again! It's totally, it's totally flying around. The hermit was murdered, but what was the motive? We'll come back to that monster after we make this deduction. The hermit was following the reapers and knew how to defeat them. It seems the old man was observing the Reapers for a long time. I have no idea who he was, but he knew a lot about them. He discovered a way to cause them harm, and he paid for it with his life. According to these writings, it's something called the Wrath of God. It has the power to defeat the Reapers. The Wrath of God needs something called a Holy Flame to be activated. A weapon, maybe? Whatever it is, we need to find it. These are actually metaphors. It's not an actual flame that we need to find. And Wrath of God is not actual anger. It's... I won't spoil it, but it is something that's tangible. Oh, hey, and uh, the water is now boiling. There's the monster. Get away from the window. Ugh. Oh, God. To the basement. It's like a griffin with Keep hands. searching for the preacher. I'll find you. Help him. Great. Wonderful. I need to get out of here. Alright, so sadly our detective hero is injured. She's separated from Hamilton. Or Rick. Rick Hamilton. She's she's separated from him for a while. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll meet up with him again when we reach the monastery. But still, man, that looks dangerous. I'm amazed he survives that situation. And uh, the worst news of all, we have a hidden objects challenge. So we have a magnifying glass here, and uh, here's a mortar, uh, honey. That is salt. That's salt. And I'll use a hint for soy sauce. There it is. Excellent. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in here, and then we're gonna light it. That will give us some smoke. It's it's making an incense thing. And the puzzle here, you just wanna open the lid to the milk, put the spoon in the milk, or ladle in the milk, and there you've got a mug of milk. And I still haven't found that soy sauce. Where's that soy sauce? Is it here? It's there. Excellent. So we're going to open up this. This gives us a few items. Let's see. A uh, golden handle. A uh, prayer wheel. And let's see. I'm going to put this paint here. This paint here. And the third thing of paint here to get a mandala. Finally, a fortune cookie. I grab a rolling pin from here. I roll that. I put a fortune in the middle. And then I fold it up to get a fortune cookie. Okay, that, that hidden objects challenge was not so bad, besides for the soy sauce, which was hard for me to find. 
Uh, that gives us the token. We use the token and the rope to get out of this place. Those trees are in the way. It will be hard to get up the mountain. Maybe I could use this as a guide. Looks like the village lies right in my path. And if I get lucky, I could find this bow there. Whoever he is, he might know something about this holy flame and wrath of God stuff. I'm not sure what she means by the trees are in the way. Are like these trees in the way? I because that's the mountain or i don't know anyway we're here we're here at the uh, base uh we're at the center of this letter y shaped thing here so to get to the mountain village we go left right right left right so left right right left and right great we did it we're at the village Come on, jump! I'll catch you. You can't stay there forever. Poe is not in the village, but we do have these two characters. What? Oh. Hello. What are you doing here? Just passing by. Mm-hmm. All the way out here, huh? Well, I'm Brittany. I'm an archaeologist with the Karkala Expedition. Do you have any idea how to lure this kid down before she hurts herself? All right, let's see what we have to do here. I think I grab I'll catch you. I grab the pinchers and then use them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first puzzle of the village. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. Although knowing the pinchers and the ladder are here. Uh, that, that's not so simple. You, I, I guess you just have to look everywhere and uh, come across them that way. So we get the ladder. Come on. What's your name, kid? She won't answer. She's mute. Her name's Fang. Don't be afraid, Fang. Come down from there. It's cold. That's something annoying. Like they, they disagree on You've how to pronounce her name. The kid seems to trust you. You're bleeding. Ugh, we have to treat that wound on your hand. Take the girl to the hut. I'll search the village for first aid stuff. You can look around too. We'll need stitches and bindings to dress that wound. So I find this to be kind of annoying. I, I basically have to do all the work of fixing my wound myself. Brittany does not help in the slightest. Alrighty, so round one. Uh, let's open up this. Uh, that's not the recipe I need. Oh, and I don't have any of those items. Okay. Well, I, I did need this mug, and I knew, and I do need these flowers. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are the ingredients. See, it says I need to collect those herbs and some milk. Some milk. So I'm gonna go back outside and grab that milk. The milk's right over here. Excellent, we have a door which is locked thoroughly, and then pictures of that monster! <laughs> oh yeah, and there's also puzzles over here, which I will solve at some point. And I'll have to a solve- cable way. I wonder if it works. Solve puzzles to get through the cable way. Getting back to my injury, let's solve this puzzle. It's mostly taking place here inside this hut. Okay, so first we need to find all these items on this list. And I am not the best at this particular challenge. Let's see. I'm mostly just clicking on random things and hoping to get lucky. I miss those. Those. And those. Great. Alright, so we put our three things together, uh, following uh, this recipe, the milk, the herbs, and the flowers. Huh? Okay, move this aside. Um, herbs, milk, flowers. That's right, I need a fan. So where do I find a fan? Do I find it back here? Hello, Jan, I see your point. Uh, this is about the hermit and Poe. 
These are characters we won't see, though. Um, let's see, it's a book of folklore. I need to at least read one of them. The last one! And that gives me an item. All right, and it also gives me some evidence. But uh, let's see, I have an ironing thing here. I'm looking for a fan. Hint. No, 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 I'm not going outside. Hint. Where is that fan? Is it here? There it is. Great. Yeah, there's the fan. Okay, so I'm going to use the fan here to start the fire. Put this here, and now I've got that herbal remedy, which should help me out a bit. Let's see. I do need... Let me see. I grab that, and that gives me this item. So I can redo the paper clip like this. This item opens up this sewing thing, because I'm going to have to sew the wound. Oh, and there's the jaw of the creature outside. So let's see. I need to put this ball here. So I can grab this key, I think. Uh, these scissors here. And there's the sewing kit. So let's see. I go back outside, use the dragon ball. Dragon jaw for the dragon claw. For the necklace, for the pin. And this lets me get to the next area. I'm going to use the pin and the wire. I want to rotate both of these so they're facing the upper left, like this. That way the claw just drops into them. When we get the cable way, we can check out stuff in the cable way. So see, I'm grabbing that. That's an ironing thing. I need a pipette to get that uh, acid. I need to fix this. I will fix it eventually. Eventually. Need to fix that, which again, I'll do that eventually. Need to focus on healing myself first. Okay, a wet cloth. Uh, that's going to be helpful. And this bucket needs a handle. And I think I can solve this. Oh yeah, that's part of the, the cloth thing. Let's just move these things aside and solve this puzzle. This puzzle, you're going to have to turn things in a specific order to make a picture. Let's see. The, it helps to start with the ones on the end. So, like, red connects to red, so obviously it has to look like that. Oh! Like that. And then blue connects to blue. Uh, this has to look like this. Yellow's going to connect to... I don't see that yellow connecting to anything, so these yellows have to look like this, which means these yellows might look like this, I think. There we go. Those reds have to connect like that, so those reds connect like that, so these ones connect like that. I still need to get these into place. There. And this thing fills up, it's slowly filling up to give us whatever item I need. Lots of items in my inventory right now, I know. Alcohol, right? This is alcohol for cleaning that wound. Great. Do you have everything? Yeah. All right then, let's take care of that wound. Let's do it, let's do it. Got everything ready? No, well, then, then set it up. I found some antibiotics we can use. Yeah, don't you have it fixed already? No, well, th th do it. Okay, the heater goes on there. I use the pinchers to grab the heater and I'm going to put the hot heater inside this. That way, I can take this wet cloth and iron it. That makes it a dry cloth. Honestly, I should have been able to put the cloth over the fire to dry it. I think that would have worked just fine. Well, I take the cloth, I'm going to cut it with scissors, and now I have bandages. Beautiful. So the bandages are going to go somewhere here. The alcohol is going to go over here. I am going to treat uh, the needles. Oh, and I can't forget to use some alcohol in my lighter. Now the lighter works. And then I use the salve that I made earlier. Where do I put it? In there. I think we have all we need. Show me your arm. I'll put in the stitches. Sounds good. About a week ago, a professor joined our expedition. He was kind of strange and obsessed about this portal we found. 
One day, he went completely mad. I have no idea why. But, oh, you won't believe me. He summoned that, that beast. It killed everybody. I'm only alive because I wasn't there. But I saw everything. Then I came here for help. But when I got here, the, the village was deserted. Is this the man? Yes. Do you know him? More than I'd like to. Do you know where he could be now? Uh, in the monastery, I guess. Trying to open the portal. But it won't be easy to get up there. The bridge we took collapsed. I can help you get there if you want. Yeah, I have to get to the radio in the camp anyway. Okay. Now the bandage looks fine. Let's see if we can find another way up that mountain. Alright, so does that make sense to everybody? The evil preacher disguised himself as uh, a doctor, joined the expedition, basically piggybacked on the expedition in his attempt to open the portal to the demon. So now we we 100% need to, to continue. Follow after them. Everybody's dead, by the way. Everybody's dead. Let's grab these items. One of them has Bond, to be useful. Find a jacket. We're leaving soon. That one's the useful item. Great. That's the pipe head. <sighs> this lever is stuck. But I think I can handle it. Look around and see if we can propel the cableway somehow. Yeah, so when we fix that, we'll reach the base of the mountain and we'll be able to chase after them. Kind of. We're going to go to the monastery and then we're going to have a detour in the base camp and then go back to the monastery. Okay, I zoomed in on the wrong area there. My mistake. I use the acid to open up this. Now I can go inside the sawmill. Lots of stuff to fix here. Let's see this window. See, I need to connect uh, our cableway to this big spinny thingy. Let's see, spinny. All right, I see that it is not spinny. It's a spinny thingy with no spins, and that gives me a hidden objects challenge. Let's see if I can find anything. Uh, nest. All right, I did it. Okay. Um, let's start using some hints here. That's a transmission belt. Uh, let's see. Paint is gonna be this. I'm gonna put these two paints together to get purple paint. I also need a sphere, so let's see. This needs a drill, and I need to hammer something. I don't know what that hammer is gonna get used on. It says, that's a hat. Let's see. I put this here, and then I paint it. That gives me the purple sphere. I don't know why it's so much work to get this one item. Those are the feathers. The one item, which honestly is not important. We're not going to use it. Um, a chain. Let's see. Pull this back. What does that give me? That gives me the tip for the drill. I use the drill over here to get a water jet. It seems kind of dangerous. It feels like I'm just, like, destroying... <laughs> these poor things. Okay, that was a, a chain. I'm gonna undo this, so I use my hammer on it. And now I have a knot. Let's look for the saw and prongs. Okay. Let's see, that's an item. This is going to be part of my little boat, if I can find the mast for it. Here it is. Mast and sail. Got a little sailboat. A saw. I think I moved this to get the chain and the glove. Excellent! So I got a belt. Now let's solve some puzzles over here. I need to take a look at this. I see there's something hidden up there, so I need to move a bunch of boxes. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one's tied up, so I'll take the uh, shackle that's tying it up. And then I'll grab this item using the file. That gives me a box. Oh, also over here, we, let's see, we have uh, the lid, not the lid, the bucket handle, and then we're going to have uh, the steel ball challenge, which we can't solve yet. So, no worries. Ah, this puzzle. Okay, so with this puzzle, we want to move the various characters around so they're where they should be. 
based on what the uh, pictures show. So the ones with uh, blue in the sky go on the top because they're standing in front of blue things. Alrighty, and here's the guy with the tiger. This guy goes underneath the book. This fellow goes over here. That person goes there. Let's see. This is this person's holding tea. That person's also eating. And where is the last one? This one. That person's looking to the right. That person's looking to the left. This gives me an eternity. I mean, it's a symbol that looks just like my charm. And this gives me a note about that holy flame. One to defeat the villain. All right, these are notes about uh, that that evil, evil villain. And I think this is the belt. That's the belt buckle. I already grabbed the belt, right? So now I'm gonna put the buckle on the belt. Seems kind of weird to take the buckle off of the belt just to put it on another belt, but that is the puzzle. So we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna use the bucket handle here. Great, now we're gonna go back. We're going to use the bucket. We're gonna fill the bucket up here with water. That way I can solve that one. I'm going to use the shackle over here because this is broken. Mostly just puzzles here in this particular part. You want to move these things around so they all... Ah. That's not right, is it? Okay, so, that's, so they all match perfectly, maybe? That's not it. Got it! <laughs> that took me forever! I'm sorry. Okay, I put that down and then I solved this puzzle of moving various things around. So let's see, um, hold on a second, I gotta move those things aside. I'm gonna use this here to get a weight, and I'm gonna put the weight over here. Alright, gotta move some things aside, some things aside. Grab this, use it on the wheel. It takes off the wheel. Alrighty, and let's see, there's some sort of saw over here. It's not this one, it's not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Here it is. It goes over on the left. And then also on the left we have a hammer which goes on the weight to smack that particular rock. Now the windmill is working and it's spinning again. Hooray! And we can attach it using this belt. Yeah, we attach it to uh, her thing and now I put the lever. See, the cable car is working, but we also need to finish this puzzle, so let's see. I'm finding two of these ball bearings. Three, there's a third one. I fill this with water, and then I move it through the fairly simple maze down here. Put this on top, we've got it. And I think that's everything. Map. Agree. Uh, the map says I can do stuff in the cable way and the hut, so let's go back to the hut. What can I do here in the hut that I missed? Hint says talk to Fong. Come on, kid. We need to go. Was that it? Was that really the only thing I I was missing? Okay, that's the only thing I was missing. All right, so you can see there are four different screens here in the village, and we're all done I'm with the village. Finished. Uh, see if you can repair this bearing. The cable way won't work without it. Already, already did it. So now let's go. Looks like it's fixed. Sit in the car. I'll turn it on and then join you in a second. And yeah, speaking of the map, we will never go back to any of these locations again. So we are completely finished with the village. We're never going to be visiting the village again. Although I presume our characters do go back to the village uh, at the end of the game when they return home to their own country. Maybe they go back through the village. Maybe they don't. This is it. I wonder, how did you get up there before? Hey, there was a scaffolding on that wall. Strange. Yes, very strange. We need to repair that broken scaffolding 
to get to the monastery. Let's see, we need to grab stuff here. A grappling hook, a hairspray. We'll come back here uh, later. And we'll come back here later once we get that grappling hook all done. We are going to need rope for the grappling hook so we can get up this mountain. So, snowmobile. We're gonna check out the snowmobile here. Damn it, the weather's getting worse. There's no chance to reach the camp before the blizzard. I'm afraid we'll have to take shelter in the monastery and wait it out. Let's see if we can find something to climb that wall. So the camp is actually over here, but yes, we cannot reach it. Terrible blizzard. Terrible blizzard blocking the way. Uh, too bad we can't dig that out. That's clearly a thing we can dig out. Nothing useful yet. Brittany is looking at nothing, nowhere. I don't even know what she's thinking. Anyway, we need to get pegs. We're going to put the pegs down here. And let's see, I need something to hammer in those pegs. And guess what? All the calls to the embassy did not work. Very sad. So now we're gonna look over here. Why can't I just grab this? Like, like, oh, it, it just makes me very mad that I can't just grab these ropes that are clearly here. Anyway, uh, we're, we're gonna use the hairspray and the lighter. That gives us this particular rock because I need that particular rock to use as a hammer. Couldn't I have just jumped on these things myself? Anyway, now that the uh, snowmobile is secured, I have a shovel. I use a shovel to dig this up. I, I I guess I need the key from inside the snowmobile here. So a couple things. Let's see. I'm going to grab this, the hairpin. I'm going to use it here to get a compact. And I'm also going to grab this foxtail here. Oh, hey! Fong just showed up in the middle of nowhere in the background of my screen. Uh, the compact and the foxtail go together. Last time I did this, the combination was 294? 249. He's a gate. It's 249. Okay. And this gives me the, the key thing I need as well as more evidence. Can I make a deduction? Hmm. Yes, I can. My phone is telling me I can make a deduction using that evidence. I think it goes in how along with uh, this. There are some legends about an ancient battle between light and darkness that took place here. Another legend mentions the tomb of a powerful evil being that was slain. There can only be one reason the preacher came here. He's looking for Asmodai's grave. Asmodai's grave is on the other side of the portal. Yes, they sealed the demon behind some sort of portal. Let's see, use the service key here. That gives me this item. Ah, uh, see this villain here? Hard to see that villain, but there's a villain there. That summons the monster! Away from the edge, Fong. It summons the monster! Uh, help me! It'll rip me apart! Hurry! Help me! Help! Help! Okay, so I'm gonna use the Alpen stock. Drop the snowmobile on the monster. Oh, thanks. That was, uh. I hope that thing's taken care of. Just wait. I'll pull you up. No, get the girl to the monastery. I'll find another way around and meet you there. So there's another way around the mountain, apparently. Uh, why can't we just use that way around the mountain? And let's see. I, I guess I use the Alpen stock now. Yeah, now I can get that rope instead of grabbing that rope, which I probably could reach. Hey, kid, are you all right? Um, she doesn't look all right. Wake up, Fong. Don't do this to me, kid. Not good. She's burning hot. I can't leave the girl lying in the snow like that. She'll die. We have to find shelter. We're going inside. The yeah, I mean, look at these things. I could have grabbed this rope. I could have grabbed that rope. I could have grabbed that rope. Lots of rope options here. Anyway, uh, Fong, we're going to have her here. We're going to put her in a blanket. And now that I have the rope, I attach it to the grappling hook. And I can use it to get inside the monastery right here. This is going to be a hidden objects challenge. We need to find the handholds. So this first one's pretty easy. Like, these pictures are pretty distinct. I think. 
Uh, okay, that one there. That, that one there. Might work. Second round is a little oh, bit tougher. It looked easier from down there. That rock here, that rock there. And I have no idea where the next one is. Use a hint. Oh, almost there. Almost, but not quite. I, I don't see this. That? That doesn't look like it. Anyway, we made it to the monastery. Rick! I can't believe you made it! Oh, I thought that thing got you. It takes more than an overgrown chicken to take me down. No kidding. Listen, there's a little girl down there. I have to bring her here. Another one? It's a long story. Tell me later. Let me go get her, okay? I'll close this place up before this blizzard hits, and I'll make her a soft bed to warm up in. So when he says another one, he's referring to the previous game, uh, the Mists of... Oh, uh, gosh, what was it? Ravenwood Park or something like that? Mists of Ravenwood, that's it. So yeah, there's, there's a little girl in that one. Okay, so we, we want to grab this brush and we want to find something to, to keep that shut. We are going to have to make this area nice and warm for Fong. I'm just wondering how Rick is supposed to be getting up this mountain while holding her. Like, that seems like it would be very difficult. That's, maybe that's just me. Okay, so I need a wrench to detach this. Uh, I mean, I, I need to detach this. Put it in where this one currently is. All right, I think that's everything. Let's take a look over this here. This wind is chilling me to the bone. I'd better shut this gate tight. Grab a sleeping bag. Gotta grab all this stuff, right? Ah, uh, I forgot a key. Let's see if I can find the key. And let's shut this with the skis. So shut it. Put in the keys. Nice. I mean, put in the skis. Please. Let's see if my hint it says sleeping bag goes there. No hint. I want to find the key. Wire brush is going to use this. Just clean that off. And uh, put the hint recharge to find the key. Where's the key? Oh, it's in the book. There we go. Minor mistake. Sorry about that, everybody. So the key was in the book, which I did not look at. Book gives information for a puzzle, which we'll be solving, uh, not now, later on. So let's see, the gears need to go here. And let's see, I'm gonna need something to clamp those together. Let's go back. Let's use our wrench on both of these things. Okay, that one's undone. This one's undone. Move it aside, put in the good gas. Wrench it up again. Now we've got a nice little space here. Nice little space here. Perfect for fog. Let's see. Nothing else there. Is there an item I missed here on the ridge? Yes, I did. I forgot to grab that padlock, which I use right here. And now I can close the gate. Hooray! Okay, I think she'll be fine. Let's close those shutters. The blizzard is getting stronger. Where did Rick come from? Did he just crawl through the window holding a small child? Close the shutters. I'll bar them with this. And that solves the blizzard problem, I think. Now we can talk. And that's the whole story. So he's looking for Asmodai's grave. And he's obsessed with the portal that's behind the gate. I only wonder, why is it so quiet over there? Let's go find out. Could you help me with that? We need to turn them simultaneously. Okay, okay, we need to pull both these levers at the same time. Now we get to see the portal. <sighs> no sign of the preacher. 
I wonder if we're still on his trail. It's pitch black there. We need some light to check it out. Hmm. I think I can fix it. Yeah, so we're gonna have some puzzles here. Uh, it's not gonna be too tough. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this thing and the gas canister and open up this. Uh, as you can see, there's a spark plug that I need to catch. I'm gonna go... Lamps are fine. Let's see the generator. Look over here. Use the broken I bottle. can fix it, but I need a spark plug and some fuel. Could you find them, please? Use the strap over here, and let's see. Do I need to look at this? I guess it's a, it's about the preacher. The preacher is still obsessed with getting through the portal because the demon's on the other side. I'll stop you, preacher. Whatever it takes. Yes, I'll stop you no matter what it takes. And I got a frozen sieve. I'm gonna use the magnet on the strap here. That's the spark plug. Can you give me the spark plug? Jeez, I just got it. Patience, dude. Okay, we're gonna go back outside. Oh wait, no, 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 I need to melt our, our frozen item, right? We've got uh, a handful of portal pieces here, but they, they are still frozen, they're still frozen. It'll take a while before they melt. So I'll open up this. I put down the canister. I put down the funnel. I put down the sieve, and then I use the gas. And there we go. We have a canister, and we'll come back here later to get that fancy indentation. Whatever it opens. So here's your fuel. Wow, that's impressive. It does look fancy. It doesn't look good. Like it'd fall apart or... It was destroyed? Do you think he entered and then cut himself out? Hard to say. But there is only one way to be sure. We need to put it back together. Could you bring those frozen pieces you found? I'll try to gather the ones I see scattered around. Great, so I, I, I am gonna uh, put my pieces here. He's gonna find a lot of pieces. It's actually gonna be helpful, yeah. Please, bring those frozen pieces. We should see if they fit. I don't wanna be mean to Rick and say he hasn't been helpful. He has been helpful, but it feels like I've been doing all the work here. So for once, he's going to do some work and find the majority of the missing pieces. I'll still find uh, like some of the leftovers, but he he'll find a lot of the pieces. Hey, what are you doing? What? Oh no! Rick! Rick, are you okay, dude? Rick! Are you there? Uh, I'm... too old for this. What was it? Those pieces. Fong put them together and... Rick, I think this portal might actually be the real deal. Then we need to fix it. I'll try to put it together. Find another way to get here. Wait! Take my gun, just in case. And take the pieces with you. Alright, so it's gonna be a while before we catch up to Rick and uh, continue helping him. Hopefully he'll find a bunch of portal pieces in the meantime. I've got three here, and then I think Fong just kinda... She's in a fever and a daze. She just will not talk to us. Well, she's mute, so she was going to talk to us anyway. But, so let's see, I need to shoot this thing. Because it's blocking the way, and then I use the Eternity Charm. I spin it, and we find a hidden passageway, which will eventually lead us to where Rick is located. To start this puzzle, you want to put the bull's head into place. We're going to be moving things, so... Three things from the left go on the right. Three things on the right go on the left. Pretty simple. Okay, so the hand goes here, the baby goes there, and the candle goes there. Moving things from right to left. Uh, this dagger goes there, and the skull goes there. Thousands of years ago, Asmodai's spawn infested the world, bringing death and havoc. The few innocents who survived the slaughter hid deep, praying to God for salvation. 
I am going to have to fact check myself there. I only had to move two things to the left, not three things. I'm sorry I misspoke. I figured I'd get angry comments on this video if, if I didn't do that. Okay, so let's see. Move things over to the left. We've got this little tail. We've got this mountain. And uh, let's see. I've got whatever that random thing is. This shoulder pad and this part of the angel's wing. Oh, and I also need the head of uh, this monster over here. God sent his archangel Raphael to help them and to throw the arch demon back into the abyss. You know, this puzzle's okay. I like it. I don't like how it's kind of, well, recapping the story that we already know, but this is new stuff. This is slightly new, right? So we're going to learn a bit more about uh, defeating Asmodai. Okay, there's the uh, head there. There's the pool of blood there. Ugh. Here's a praying person and the sun. And the sword's blade. The battle was fierce, but finally Asmodai fell. His reapers fled in terror. Raphael trapped the demon in a tomb with a sacred gate and blessed his bravest human ally, the Chosen, to be its guardian, and each of the Chosen's firstborn until the end of time. Yeah, see, that's new. That's new. We knew the demon was, like, trapped uh, on the other side of the portal, and this shrine was built to protect it. The Order of Monks and the shrine. Always gotta be the places that are wet, dark, and cold. The Order of Monks. I've been living in the shrine for thousands and thousands of years. I've been protecting the portal, and uh, they've got the sacred bloodline, which will stop evil. Okay, so here we have a jigsaw puzzle. Just want to put these various pieces back into place to form uh, two of the monks and a symbol. Press the symbol. Hey, looks like you found the other way. Good job. Can you throw me some rope? The grade is locked from inside. You have to unlock it. Sure, but how do I get up there? I believe in you. Right. Yeah, it's not very helpful, Rick. That's not very helpful at all. We're gonna find more about these uh, monks in this room. I remember this being a very difficult room, but it's actually not too tough of a puzzle. It's just a, a little confusing here. So here we want to grab this sword. And then we half start this puzzle by putting the sword here. That gives us a hidden objects challenge. So now let's do the hidden objects challenge. Yeah, I have no idea why putting the sword there starts a hidden objects challenge. It just does. That's how the game works. Alright, let's find everything. Prayer flags, lots of prayer flags. We have a lot of these little carnation balls, I think. I'm not sure what you call them, but they form a garland, and it's very cute. Inside here is a thing, inside here is another thing, and then everything else is just random hidden objects. Feather, angel, necklace... Feather, angel, necklace... Finding nothing! Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the angel. I'll just use hints. There's that last prayer flag. Yeah! I don't like it when we have to find five prayer flags, so instead of finding, uh, however many of this is, 12 hidden objects, suddenly I'm finding 15. Because one object is five objects. Okay, so that gives me the dagger, which I'm going to put here to solve the second half of the puzzle. Basically, I'm just opening the lid of that box, that's all. And this gives me two items. One of them goes over here. You have to let this animation play out all the way. Uh, same with this animation. Of making that thing go down all the way. And then you're going to move this box all the way over to the left. So you can reach the sword that's blocking the grate. Like, if you click the box too soon, then it will say, no, 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 no. So here we find uh, another item. 
as well as more about these monks, I'll fulfill my destiny, stay faithful to my vows, my line will never fail, an everlasting line. Alright, but, uh, some time ago, well, for thousands of years, we've been stopping the demon, but Genghis Khan showed up, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. We were defeated by him. I came here to give testimony, but I fear the order will not survive. Oh, man. My son will fulfill his destiny and stay faithful to the vows. His line will never fail. Okay, so now we have three items which go over here. All three of them. And this diagram explains how to move uh, the... Whatever you call it, the bowl that the creature's holding. This bowl? Yeah, that bowl. So it can move up and down and up and down. And by moving it down, I have revealed some scrolls. Scrolls... We don't know how old these are. Uh, I think this is the most recent one. Could be. So that's that's the uh, dead hermit we saw. And we can actually make a, uh, a deduction now. Let's see, I think I put everything under Holy Flame. Uh, these three things under Holy Flame, the things that aren't pictures of people, are Holy Flame. The Holy Flame. Opposing darkness, giving hope, always vigilant, and obviously connected with this strange symbol. The symbol representing the Chosen, the ancient lineage of monks. So the Holy Flame is not some artifact, but a human being. Unfortunately, the only Chosen I've ever met is now lying dead in his cabin. Oh. If we want to control the wrath of God, we'll have to find his descendant. So that's Holy Flame. The Holy Flame is a member of this Chosen line. A member of the Chosen line. So we've got to find uh, one of the descendants of this guy. And luckily, we know one of his descendants already. His son, Poe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe we can find Poe. And Poe knows the secret to unleashing the wrath of God, which will stop that evil preacher. That's our, that's our hope. Okay, so now we want to move this back here. And then press this button again so it goes up. And I can kind of reach this bowl. Kind of reach this bowl. Great. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the jade token on the thing outside the monastery. Dig ugly! Oh my god. Do you want to kill me? Not yet. How's your search? Do you need any help? Since you're asking, there's a mechanism I need someone to operate. Oh, I thought I was going to say more, but no, I'll just end the conversation there in that awkward spot. Cool. So, I'll put the jade token here me this item and then Brittany and I I have no idea how she managed to come here in the middle of a terrible blizzard that is just amazing. let me know when I should make it move that's amazing I can't believe she did it so uh, I'm gonna use this spear to get myself inside the bowl okay take me up and now I can solve this puzzle so this puzzle is a little difficult but there's uh, Kind of a cheat. You start here in this corner. It's going to be red. It's going to be red. And basically what you need to do is follow the lines and figure out which buttons connect to each other. Well, red connects to red here. And uh, it's going to be rainbow color starting from here. So red, and then yellow, and then green. Next color the rainbow is blue. And then purple. So just coincidentally, rainbow color matches uh, going clockwise. Do you have the pieces? The portal's almost complete. Then let's put them on the portal. Alright, so as promised, Rick found most of the pieces. Put them in the slots. And uh, the three pieces I have go here. Damn! We're still three pieces short. I could swear I searched every corner. Let's look around again. Maybe you missed something. Hmm, maybe I did four pieces instead of three. Anyway, there are still three pieces left. Rick has not found uh, all of the pieces. He's missing three. Are you sure you want to open this portal? 
That maniac is most likely inside. Yeah, it's probably pretty dangerous. Where could it be? I could swear I searched everywhere. He says he searched everywhere, but he did not search this obvious box. Like, an uh, obvious box, which says, hey, the three, four, three portal pieces are at the camp. So they're at Brittany's camp. And this looks like a clue. I, I don't know what it's a clue to. And we find two items for the puzzle of building a compass. It seems that we need to visit the camp together. But we won't find the way in this weather. Not without a GPS unit. Or maybe... A compass? I haven't seen one, but we could always improvise. Good idea. Let's see if we can find everything we need. Yep, so we're gonna build a compass and then we're gonna go back to the uh, camp. I say back to the camp. We've never actually been there before. I think... Yeah, it's like somewhere over here in the distance, right? That's, that's where the camp is. Okay, so let's let's finish building our compass by doing a hidden objects challenge here in the main room. Great. Okay, there's frostbite solve. Uh, toothbrush is somewhere here. Well, this thing goes here, and this thing goes here. That makes a, a corkscrew. There's an energy drink. Uh, this is a bracelet. This is a cork. See, this thing is also clearly a cork, but that doesn't count. I hate it when hidden objects challenges do that. <laughs> Toothbrush. It's like there's multiple, there's multiple corks on screen, but only one of them counts. So let's see. I open up this thing. Yeah, it's gonna give me a postcard and a spork. The other postcards are easy to find. Uh, opening up this bag also gives me a can opener. I open the can. And then I put some spice on the beans to get some spicy beans. I open up this, and I'm going to grab the uh, thermometer, put it inside, and now I've got above zero. I'm going to look at this thing. It's going to give me a Yeti picture. And last, I need a cup, which is there. So we have the thermos. That doesn't count as a cup, though. That is clearly a thermos. And we want to go outside here for a scene. Shadowy villain. Is she all right? She's weak and pretty out of it, but she should survive. How did she do it? This music. It's like the man by the snowmobile, but different. Could it be a gift? You know, like for banishing evil spirits or... I don't know. Whatever it is, it works. The beast ran or fled or flew or... Anyway, we should use this opportunity to get the missing pieces. He's right. We should get the compass and go to the camp now. It might be our only chance. I just found this one at the portal. You can use it in your compass. It won't freeze. It's a bottle of whiskey. I don't know why he says this one. It is a bottle of whiskey. Take care of her, Rick. We'll come back as soon as possible. So, I, I think it's kind of obvious what the story is here. I'll take care of her. Go, find those missing pieces. Let's go, before that thing recovers. But the game kind of treats it as a secret. Obviously, Fong, she, she got rid of that evil monster, right? Clearly, she's part of the bloodline that can stop evil monsters and protect this place. Our characters won't figure that out until the end, but I, I just thought it was so obvious. Clearly, she's part of it, right? She just stopped an evil monster. So the cork goes there. So basically we put everything together and now we've got a compass and we're all done with this monastery area. Let's go outside. Let's go! We don't want to meet that beast again, do we? No, we do not. The camp is north of here! So I use my compass. It goes uh, left. What? Ah, the shadow guy! Wait! I saw someone. Brittany runs off after the shadow guy, and uh, she's going to be gone for quite some time. I'm basically going to be alone while while I explore the camp. We won't find each other in this weather. Yeah, it's terrible, terrible I hope she weather. Finds the way. 
So I'll be alone while I explore the camp and uh, find find those three portal pieces. Gosh, all these bodies. It must have been a slaughter. No sign of Brittany. I hope she makes it. I'd better find those missing pieces and get back to the monastery. And as Brittany said when we first met her, the preacher summoned the monster and basically had it kill everybody here in the camp. She was the only survivor, and that's because she wasn't inside the camp at the time. So let's see if I can remember how to get through the the uh, the camp. This is a flare. I'm gonna grab the flare and use it here to get this cutting device. I'm also going to steal this SD card from the tablet. So it shows uh, Brittany doing stuff. Yeah, I don't know about that. Brittany hiding stuff. Oh, and this tent. It's hard to breathe. And my eyes are watering. Well, that's not good. So let me grab uh, the screwdriver. I'm going to use the screwdriver here. Here? Over here. So that's going to give me a mask. That way I can get inside. But I also need something to protect my eyes. Use the utility knelt. Utility knife over here with something to protect my eyes and here's that thing that Brittany was hiding I guess that must be her tent And wait, I don't go inside here yet. I want to go here I'm gonna throw these two items on this uh, oxygen source that way I can go inside the tent and There's a window out here, so I open up the window I uh, turn off this little stove thing. So now there's no smoke here I can actually breathe and see what's going on. All right, this is going to be a big puzzle. We're going to develop some film here. Develop some film. That's going to be our, like, major puzzle. And we need to find all the items there to get that puzzle solved. Uh, this computer's not working, obviously, but it will accept the SD card. What pictures does it have? Haha. <laughs> so this is a puzzle. We need to find uh, the code. So here's two numbers. Two more numbers on uh, Brittany's piece of paper here. Her hand is covering up most of it, though. And then the last number is going to be reflection here. That's it. The full code. Ooh, I got a puzzle expert achievement. <laughs> I, I, I guess you know that's you solved so many puzzles with without using any hints. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to charge the UV light and listen to this dead guy's information. Yeah, man. Murdered them all. Claire, Dan, everybody. Who? Oh, God, it hurts. I don't have much time. He wants those pieces of the portal. I damaged the barrack lock and hid the safe box key in the usual place. I'm not sure if it'll stop him, but I had to do something. <laughs> I hope you're all right. <laughs> Grab any of those pieces and run away. Call the police. And most of all, <laughs> make sure he pays for this. It wasn't the beast. Someone murdered them. Why did Brittany then? Wait. I need to focus. I need that piece now. Barrack lock. Safe box key. The usual place. Did he really have to be so vague? I wish I knew where he was before he died. Okay, so he was super vague about the information, which is a shame. Oh, well. And it turns out Brittany lied about everything. Hmm. Yeah, she said the monster killed everyone, but, uh, looks like it was the preacher who killed everyone. Yeah. The preacher got mad, presumably when they would not give the preacher, uh, these portal pieces. The last three pieces to open the portal. All right, so we got that thingy, and we're going to use that in conjunction with this safe code to spell out the uh, safe number. 918. I took two of the pieces to the barrack. If the professor's right, this could be the discovery of the century. We get the keys, we get another piece, and uh, this photo is the one we want. So we're going to develop that particular photo. Let me use a hint to make sure there's nothing I missed. Aha! Yes, I need to use these keys here. That gives me some warm gloves, as well as just 
chemicals for development. I use my warm gloves to grab that bulb. I need a red bulb for developing photos. Did I open up this with my keys yet? Did not. Okay, temperature. I'll also need that for the puzzle. So where was I? Grabbing the bulb, putting it in red paint. And then opening up the chemicals with my knife. Great, I've got pretty much everything for the puzzle now. I'm going to put the chemicals here. I'm going to test the temperature. One last thing I need, and I'll get it here in this, uh, this hidden objects challenge. Okay, so that's an aperture. I need to find photos and so many things. Where's the enlarger lens? I don't know. Okay, this thing needs a bulb. Uh, this is a bulb. Let's see. It needs batteries, though. Batteries from over here. That is a flash. There's the item we need. That's the enlarger lens. Everybody, we found the important item of this area. Alrighty. Oh, I am, I am going to have to fix this guitar. So you want to find all the strings for the guitar. And it's missing another string. Okay, there's the microphone. There's a cap. That is uh, a floodlight. That's what it's called. Those are sunglasses. I'm just using the hint to tell me where everything is at this point. I'm not even trying anymore. Okay, I still need to find another string. Okay, open up that for photo paper. There's the last string. Found it. And I've still got like three photos left. So let's see. There's one hidden there. One hidden there and one hidden there. That's done. Okay, so I found like a third of those items. Okay. Like a fourth of those items. Whatever. Let's just solve this puzzle. And I've got everything here. So now what I want to do is... Let's see. Put this here. Put the developing fluid in there. Wait for a minute. Get that liquid out. Now I'm going to put this in for a minute. Get that liquid out. Now the film should be all ready. I'm gonna put the film here. Gonna put the film paper here. It's gonna put the, the paper there. So let's see. This goes here. There's official names for these liquids. Uh, fixative apparently is one of them. So I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna put it in here for like a minute and then here for a minute. Although we don't actually time it. It must be buried under the snow. At least I know where to dig now. And I do find this a little frustrating. Okay, so guess what? The barracks are there. They're right there. Right there. So there it's it been is. here the whole time. And we you might have noticed this thing that we could zoom in on. That's been here the whole time. It's like, oh, why didn't our detective hero notice that earlier? Nope, you have to do the photo puzzle before you can notice that. Uh, the flagstaff will go here with the shovel. And this will get us to the second half of this area. Second half? I don't know if we should call it second half, but let's move these things aside. Alright, that's an important thing. We'll be able to make a deduction about it. But the important thing is this. I'm going to steal this ID card from this person. And let's see, I open up this, I put in the copper coin, and use the ID card. Now I can go inside. And basically that's it. I'm in the barrack now. I won't be really hanging around here and I won't go inside the tent anymore. Everything else in this area is the barrack. So, almost done with this area. We're going to put these two things together. Our enemy turned out to be our ally. That's quite comforting, considering what it is capable of. But why would he attack us? We're not Reapers. There has to be something I'm missing. With the beast on our side, we could have the advantage. But we need to find the Holy Flame to control it. It's like, oh my gosh, Detective. Can't you figure it out on your own? Like, Fong was playing something on, on a flute. A and that's when the monster started listening to her and helping us. Like... Clearly, Fong is the one who can control that monster, right? Like, at least try that as, as a guess? 
And here's stuff. We, we want the portal scraps. They're on the pre-selection table. We're going to use that to make this portal, this, this portal thing. And it needs coloring as well. Let me turn on the light here. Great, so that's going to be a uh, multi-level puzzle. Let's get the rest of the pieces here, which are here. Uh, portal scrap, portal scrap. You're here in a hidden objects challenge. Oh boy, my favorite. I, I mean, I was just thinking to myself, wow, I haven't seen a hidden objects challenge in quite some time. And what do you know, my prayers were answered. I got a hidden objects challenge. Okay, I can find the beads. Say I found one item. I don't know where this thing is. Uh, I, I don't know where it goes. That is a buckle. Let me see. Duct tape fixes that. That lightens up uh, the earrings. Uh, sometimes you have to find the four coins on this screen, and that's the one I, I, I was like, oh man, these four coins are important. Better remember where they are. And then, uh, no four coins this time. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so let's see. This is an earring piece. I wonder where that goes. Let me find my elephant. There's the elephant. So I need like two pieces here. I think this is where it goes. There's one. And then I just need to find the top of it and I'll put it on there and that will give me an item. There's the item that goes on top of it. It's White Feather, which is the other name for uh, that creature. I kind of like Wrath of God. That is a much more fancy name. Okay, it still needs a handle and a scroll. So here's a scroll and I, I, I need a handle for it. Where's my handle? There it is. Great. And then finally the moon, which is uh, that... Well, I'm not sure. We open up this. Okay, we open up this. We're going to clean it. And this gives us a little zoom in with four... Okay, I need a magnifying glass. Use a magnifying glass. And this gives us a zoom in area with four moons. And we're done. So now we have all the portal scraps. Fantastic. So I find it odd that uh, we found three portal scraps there, even though in the puzzle itself we only found two. Huh? Huh? I'm nitpicking there, but uh, that was kind of weird. Okay, so we've got something there which is sharp. So I'm going to grab the hammer, and I'm going to use the hammer here to grab it. Yeah, move that aside. That gives me that thing. This is a very old bowl. I'm gonna put the portal scraps inside it and use this welding torch I just picked up. And now I have molten metal. It's the exact same metal that this portal piece is made of. Great, so let's see. I'm gonna have to pour water, put in the thing, pour in the metal, and then pour more water. Okay, so let's get some water here. There are like two big puzzles you do in this area, but uh, or, or maybe three, who knows. Well, I'm pouring in the water here, and then I'm going to put the mold, make the mold with that portal piece, so that way the new portal piece will be the exact same shape as the old one. Great, I'm going to need to get some more water, right? Oh, I don't, I already have the water. Okay, so molten level, molten metal, and then I cool it off with water, and there, that's done. I have the casting. Okay, so, other things I need. I need to get these three particular gems in order to solve it. We already got the, the casting, but I need these three gems. Okay, so one of them is here in the ring. So you want to move these pieces around. Get each one into the right spot. And then you get the jade out of the ring. The other one, right over here, smash it with a hammer! Sorry, but I had to do it. The stakes are too high. Yeah, I mean, end of the world, right? Okay, and welding torch gets used over here for the final piece, which is the ruby. And now I should have everything. Everything's gonna go together. Open up the tools, and here we go. So first step is to just uh, put the various gems into place here. Put each gem into a vise, and then use the file on the gem. Second step is we're going to mix some colors. So red and yellow make orange. Then blue and yellow make green. Then we're going to paint this white. 
and we get a color matching game when we zoom in on it. So you want to put all the colors into place. There are multiple solutions to the puzzle and two things that are the exact same color cannot touch each other. That is totally against the rules. Alrighty, so let's see. Um, let's put a green here. Red, red, which means this one's a yellow, which means this one's a green. Hopefully I've got this right. Um, red, maybe? Green here, so this can be yellow. And this will be orange, and this will be yellow. Yeah, there are multiple solutions to that puzzle. Great. You. Please. Wait, we, <coughs> we need to talk. So this is a very dramatic scene, and I don't know why the detective acts like Poe is an enemy. I'm not your enemy. Things are not as they appear. I, <coughs> I know you won't believe me. You have to see it for yourself. Find the last piece. I... I know you're looking for it. <laughs> then you'll... Un understand. <laughs> Give it to her. It's too soon. She is too young. But... <laughs> we have no other choice. The flute. She is the last... Uh, our only hope. And tell her that <laughs> All right. Poe's dead. It's very sad. It's very sad. I guess the detective thought Poe was the one who was summoning the beast to attack our characters, and Poe has two arms there. Oh, that's a glitch. Okay. Oh my god. Was that her father? So, shock of the century, Fong is Poe's daughter! Which means Fong is part of the magic bloodline. And another big shock, Brittany Barks, that's her last name. Woof, 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 woof. Um, she was hiding one of the portal parts. Yeah, so let's use this device to find that hidden portal part. Which is, it's over here. So 30.5 megahertz. The signal is coming from the same area as the monastery. Maybe we can still find the last piece. Hmm, let's see. Is it here? Yeah, no, no, that's not it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm, maybe we need to set it to B. B. Set it to B. Oh! That... that can't be. How? Brittany, he's dead. How? But... She's been dead for a long time, but we didn't... I mean... She was here not too long ago! Useful as ever, detective. My head. The pieces are gone. The portal! Oh god, Rick, he doesn't know! Brittany is an imposter. She's been an imposter the entire time. Gosh, and I trusted her because, like, the monster attacked her at the snowmobile here. And Brick doesn't know that, that Brittany. Ah, we've got to save him. Bong, are you okay? Have you seen Brittany? Listen, kid, I know this is a bad time, but your father, he, he asked me to give you something. He wanted you to have the flute. I... he wanted you to know that he loved you, and... Oh, kiddo, it shouldn't be like this. But the very bad man is doing very bad things, and we have to stop him. Come with me, okay? I'll protect you. We do have a deduction to make. I probably should have done this sooner. Poe was Salin's son, the next holy flame in line. Unfortunately, he shared his father's fate. According to the evidence, there is only one descendant left. 
A small, quiet girl thrust into the middle of this mess. I wish there was another way, but there isn't. The girl is our only hope. So yeah, she will control the monster and defeat the evil preacher. Hopefully, hopefully she will. Let's go over to the portal. Damn it, he tricked us. Brittany was really the preacher all along. He has entered the portal. I tried to chase him, but I can't open it. It seems only someone with special abilities can enter it. Where are those damn chosen when you need them, eh? We have one with us. We need to open this portal, kid. Bad things will happen if we don't. Can you do it? Great, so Fong opens the portal. Rick, what are you doing? Wait for me. Rick? Rick? You okay, buddy? At last. After all this time, I am here. Oh. Rick, what are you doing? I'm doing my duty. I don't think that's Rick. Disobedient little puppets. I should thank you for opening the gate for me. The girl had to do it willingly. You convinced her when I couldn't. Now, I can finally free my master. Over my dead body. Didn't anyone tell you? That's the whole plan. I'll relish it even more than that monk. He died suffering and helpless, knowing his pathetic order had utterly failed. Before you die, let me show you my gratitude for everything you've done. Yeah, so we were two steps behind the preacher all along. He, he wanted us to open the portal. He- Did you really think you could stop me? He apparently could not open the portal on his own. It had to be a member of uh, the I bloodline. I they had more time to attend you properly. Fong, oh, you have to call it. You have to be strong. No! So Fong brings the flute, summoning the monster! This buys us a little bit of time. No, things look bad. Things look very bad. Oh, and I can control the character. Okay, great. So let's see, we've got cold water. We have a gun. We're gonna grab uh, that, that bullet case there. Uh, we need- Fong. Fong, kid, you all right? I need to move that in order to find her because, you know, she's covered by a giant wing. I open up this, I'm gonna grab these three items, and uh, I'm gonna destroy this pillar. I'm just gonna make a bomb so the pillar falls and I can take the staircase back up to where I was. I'm gonna put the bandana here in the water. I'm gonna look at Rick. My head. Uh, didn't I tell you I'm too old for this? It doesn't look good. I'll try to find something cold to put on it. There you go. Here's a wet bandana. What's our status? We've lost the wrath of God, and we're running low on supplies. I don't have much, but take anything you want. The least we could do would be to help him. The angel. If there's a way, I'll find it. Alrighty, long pause there, and we're gonna grab his two items, and then we're gonna look at this. Let's see, I need to pull those two things up first, then those two things up, then I push the button in the middle, that gives me the staff. The staff is going to be used to push the rock aside. Move that. Bong? Are you okay? 
I'd better let her stay here. She needs some time. Yeah, she looks okay. Kind of. It gives me a stone button. I'm going to use the stone button on the wall to get more backstory. Let's see, you know, I need to press this button here. And so, the mighty Archangel's blade pierced the heart of the demon, and Asmodai, the Prince of Corruption, was slain. So we're gonna do this puzzle like nine times in a row. We, not, we need to find three of these pictures in the screen. This time it's a skull, so find three skulls. Yet, though the demon had fallen, Raphael knew that the Reapers would never cease trying to resurrect their master. The angel absorbed the demon's soul becoming both its guardian and a living prison. This desperate act weakened him greatly, but it made resurrection of the demon nearly impossible. The black flame of anger filled the Reaper's hearts. Raphael had spoiled their wicked plans. Yep, so the demon's sort of contained in that angel's body. Next set of pictures. The Reaper struck before Raphael could recover his strength, using the dagger to imprison him in a tomb of eternal ice. So they basically froze him. They froze him. They hoped that in time, they would learn the method of extracting their master. In his last instant of freedom, Raphael laid his exhausted gaze upon a young man hiding in the distant shadows. He spoke directly into the boy's heart so that his message could not be overheard. The cursed dagger should never return to this place. This tomb must never be opened. Man, it's sad to hear that was the instruction because we kind of brought the dagger here. I impose this duty on you, he said, and on each firstborn of your kin. Alrighty, so last one, last one now. I'll use my button to activate this puzzle. And so the Chosen One gathered his followers and built a monastery on the slope of Karkala to guard the Angel's Tomb. Knowing they were no match for the Reapers, the Order of Guardians prayed for strength in secrecy. God sent them instructions to build the Sacred Gate that only the touch of one of the Chosen could open, uncompelled. The tomb was safe, but the monks were still in danger. The Chosen gathered all the feathers that had fallen from the Archangel's wings during the battle. From those pieces of the Archangel's divine power, a beast was born, the deadly and ever watchful Wrath of God. So there we have it. Oh, hey, and that gets added to evidence, so I can make my last deduction. Last deduction. This thing goes here. The new picture we got goes here. We uh, never use this picture. The, the preacher selfie, evil selfie by the portal gate. Never going to use that to make a deduction. Raphael has imprisoned Asmodai inside his angelic body, thus dooming himself to be trapped here forever. It's hard to even imagine such a sacrifice. Now, the preacher is trying to reap the demon out of the angel's body. And since Raphael is weakened and complete, the preacher could succeed. Raphael has to regain his full power to have a chance to defeat both Asmodai and his champion. The power that has been used to create the wrath of God. Ooh, that's kind of complicated. Anyway, we need those feathers. We, we need to get those feathers. The feathers from uh, the creature, we're going to use those feathers to, to save it's Raphael. Gone. Feathers to feathers. Feathers to feathers. So let's find all the feathers hidden in the screen. 
and this is a particularly tough in an objects challenge. So many things that look like feathers but are not actually feathers. There's one. There's another. Oh. Okay, one more. There's the last feather. Now or never. Almost done here, everybody. So we're going to take these uh, magazines, get all these bullets out. And use the cigar cutter to open up these bullets. Gonna put all that explosive powder inside a cigar tube. There we go. So what is the last thing we need? I uh, thought we need something to light. Okay, let's look at here. Oh, I forgot to grab this lantern. Well, that lantern will be used to light the bomb. Rick, you okay? Go first. I need to catch my breath. Fong... Let's not bother her. Let's just go up. Ignis eternus lutis superator audime. Dominus tanabrarum infernarum rex invocote. Minister tusum ostium tumsum vasellum tumsum. So, don't worry, don't worry. We will stop this monster by giving the feathers back to the angel. Ah, and there's the dagger. to be you here catch yes i have to stop this monster ah ghosts click on the ghost to get rid of it click on this ghost to get rid of it ghosty number three well, that's just silly so now that we've gotten rid of all the ghosts we can kill the monster just by stabbing it the end <laughs> Welcome, Raphael. I need some rest. A happy, peaceful, extremely boring retirement. You've earned it. We all did. Time to go home. You want to go with me, kid? Yeah, and that's it. That's officially the end of the game, the end of the trilogy. It takes about two hours to beat the game if you know what you're doing. And uh, there is a bonus game, so it's not completely over yet. We have a bonus adventure called Blood on the Snow. Hey, baby. How long till you get to camp? Damn it. Um, about 20 minutes? Because Jim's in the monastery, and the rest of them went to the other side to work, and Fang is here, so I was thinking... Girls' night! With two of my favorite peeps. <laughs> yeah! Fang drew you a pic. Did you hear that? Jen, something happened in the monastery. I'm going. That sounded bad. Yeah, 
yeah, we, we, we play as Brittany, and this is probably the tragic story of how everyone in camp was murdered. We start by getting the supplies from the medical kits. Somehow, we know exactly the items we need without even seeing the injury first. Hmm. Okay, use the scissors here and then go up. Oh no, he looks badly hurt. It, it looks like he managed to come all the way from there. It must have taken forever to make the scaffolding up the side of the mountain. And uh, the portal's blocked. We are going to break this open in a moment. And let's see, I need to open up this to get a battery. Let's go to the gate. Hey, I'm getting close to the monastery. What's going on in there? Jim is wounded. His leg is in bad shape. You can use that lift to get him down to me. But you need to take care of his leg first. Already got the stuff for it. Okay, antiseptic. And bandages. <sighs> Only the artifact can stop him. Hmm, cryptic. Okay, I'm here. Good. Alrighty, so the harness is going to go there. I just got a pickaxe. I'm gonna step back here. Use the pickaxe to destroy this. Now I can go forward, and I can also solve this hidden object challenge, so let's do that. Hidden, hidden objects, where are you? There's one more. There it is. Okay, that gives a little sled thing for Jim. Stretcher. All right, I'll put it down. Move him on it. Jenny? Jenny, I'm ready to send him down to you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> he does drop this for me. Very nice. I've got him. I'll take him down to the village and see if we can get transport from there. I'm gonna stay here and figure out what happened. It feels weird. Alright, and we won't see Jenny again after this. Uh, presumably she dies when everybody else dies. Okay, so he's examining some sort of fluorescent notes, and he left a lanyard behind. Beautiful. Okay, so what did Jim discover here? Hmm, let's see. Well, we are, we're gonna have to look at this because it's dark. I'm gonna use the pickaxe here. Oh, wait, no, I'll use the key here. Take this off, put this lanyard here as a belt. And now we can kind of see. So let's see, the key goes back here, right? The key will open up this. I guess we use the key twice, and that gives me a single battery. Alrighty, there's UV spray. You'll notice it works and creates uh, some of those symbols that Jim was talking about. Hmm, looks like there were pictures when the, the preacher came and interrupted. That's not good. Okay, let's see. Where Where is the next battery? Down here, ah, I see. I bet the symbols will match the one with the stash in Jen's camp. And that is clearly not English written here, but it's English here on the, the zoom in. Hmm. wonder what language that is. Okay, that gives us this item, which uh, looks like it sort of matches. Okay, so I'll put the batteries in. Snap a photo of this. Yes, I got it. Oh. The symbols from the wall seem to match those on the box. Unfortunately, they're incomplete. However, if Jim is right, I can find the missing part in his box in the camp. The writing on the bottle. Okay. Still on our way. Jim's fine, but he's still unconscious. How long will it take to get him to the hospital? <laughs> um, if we can get transport down at the village, we should be at the hospital by tomorrow morning. I'm still not sure. I still need to go back to camp and, and piece everything together. Oh, hello? Jenny? Hello? The symbols on the bottle also changed. That's that's what I was saying. Okay, so Jenny has now sort of disappeared, and we're done with this area. Let's get back to camp. Fang! There's
there's a face I like to see. We're gonna solve some puzzles here. There's Brittany's tent. Uh, we're gonna open this as soon as we get a hammer, and then we're gonna get the aloe sometime in the in the future. Closer to the end of this uh, end game challenge here. Huh? What's wrong, Fang? Well, so Jim uh, broke this printer thing. Way to go, Jim! And I'm gonna grab some tape here. Take a look at Jim's excavation. Nice, the photo area is completely closed off right now. And let's see, what's this? Fong wanted me to read this note. We went to Site B. We'll be back in the evening. And let's see, he has a secure box. Listen, I, I've got a bad feeling. Do you have somewhere safe to go? If you see anything suspicious, I want you to go and hide there at once, okay? Hmm. Yeah, very, very bad feeling. Okay, there's tweezers. What I'm gonna do is use the talc and uh, the adhesive tape to get the thumbprint. I'm gonna use the thumbprint here. Gives me the rest of the pattern. Kind of. Kind of. All right, let's go back over here. I'm gonna use the tweezers, pick up this paper. I'm gonna go back. I forgot. I just got my hammer. I used my hammer to open up this. And that gives me another printer part. So now I have everything to fix the printer. We got the printer. We got the foil. We got the camera. So we print the picture on transparent paper. And putting these two pictures together, we're good. We're great. We get this fairly simple puzzle. I do like how Fong is uh, playing this song. Because that's the song she plays on the title screen. Unless I'm just completely mistaken. Sounds like it, though. There we go. Tough. There we go. We got it. So we get a figurine uh, and an ancient paper. But guess what? It's booby trapped. What? What's going on? Where is Fang? Oh no! It looks like somebody kidnapped her and took the figurine. Oh my head. I think I had some painkillers in my tent. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at Fang's pictures here. It's a picture of what her and her sketch? dad. Is this some kind of map? I like that picture of her and the dad. Let's let's go back to it. So nice. Oh, and then it's her Brittany, and then uh, presumably that's her grandpa's house. And yeah, somebody stole that figurine. So we're gonna follow that map, but first let's get some painkillers from my tent. I don't wanna be walking around all day with a big old headache. And I have found one object. Okay, disposable wipes, face cream, toothpaste, watch, peanuts. Those are easy to find. Um, thriller. So those are books, painkiller. Still haven't found any of these. I guess I'll just use hints for like everything here. Like a big old cheater. Oh yeah, like I haven't done this on every hidden objects challenge of the game. Those are the head. I mean, those are the painkillers. Next, no, those were the painkillers. Then what was that? Here's the lipstick. And then face cream is that. Don't worry, I'll have another hidden objects challenge there. Um. I don't know how long it's going to be, but there will be another Hidden Objects Challenge there. So I'll get to try it again. So we need to follow the map. Okay, that one, to the trees, to the bear, to the left portal, to the one that's between two spikes, to the cave. And this is where Fang is hiding. Let's go to the chapel after picking up two items from there. Uh, picking up two items here to get a... What's the term? Grappling hook? Or anchor with rope. Yeah, you could call it that. I would have gone with grappling hook. That gives me the figurine, which I push here. We need to push them in this order. Three, one, two. 
that's going to give me this thing, and this is a fairly simple puzzle, just a, a little jigsaw puzzle, get all those pieces in the right spots, and that creates a little bridge here. We'll have a, a monk puzzle there eventually. We're going to grab those two bowls, and I'm going to grab that particular jagged edged thing, because I will use it to cut this. Great, back to the secret chapel, I will use my three logs to get another place in the secret chapel. This is a cave. Oh, it's Fangs. She must have been here. Well protected by puzzles. Definitely, those are Fangs pictures. All right, we'll solve this puzzle um, now, apparently. Okay, let's do it. Slider puzzle for the win. Done. All right, let's see. I'm going to grab the glue there. I need to use that glue on the broken bowl. I can use that here. Alrighty, so what am I doing? Uh, I put a weight down. Yeah, we need two more weights before we can continue. Well, let's see, I'll use a hint. Hint says... Can I solve this puzzle? Oh! I need to grab the blue thing from the middle bowl, and then uh, that opens up that. It's gonna spin. Uh, I'm gonna put this in place. Then spin it, that's gonna give me a key. This is gonna rotate, I put the fire symbol into place. And then I need to move these things. Giving me another weight, I bet another weight might be behind this niche key, or it might be a bowl. Oh, it's a hidden objects challenge. Okay, let's see if I can do this. This one's uh, a touch easier. Okay, is there a piece I am missing? Yes, it's here. See? See, that hidden objects challenge didn't go so badly. Yeah, alright, so the bowl goes over here. We're gonna get a puzzle. Let's see. It's gonna look like this. So at the very start, the water's gonna go down and to the right. It's go, gonna go like that. So it goes in the bottom and it goes into that hole there. Oh, Fang, are you alright? Wait, is, is this your hideout? Then who did... Why are... I don't understand what's going on. That makes two of us. How did she find this place and how did she get here? It was trapped by lots of puzzles. Okay, so let's see. This is another weight and we're gonna put the two weights into place here. That will open up this area and we'll get to meet Fang's father, Poe. Don't touch the figurine. Fang says you're on our side. Are you? Depends. Are you the one killing people with strange magic? What? No, I thought he was one of your people. Okay, let's start from the beginning. There's a reaper on the loose, trying to open the gate to the ultimate evil. This statue is the key to the only thing that can stop it. Well, good thing it's re- Hey! Take a look. No, 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 it's inside the figurine. That's, that's what we need. There is an ancient weapon against the evil. It is a creature named Wrath of God. To wake it, one needs to create a candle made of special ingredients and light it at the altar in the secret chapel. To defeat the one who came here, we must release Wrath of God. Will you help me? Of course. Then we need to find the ingredients. One of them is a very rare resin. It is dangerous to acquire, so I'll deal with that. Please, find these ingredients and let's meet here. Okay, so it gives me part of a jigsaw and then all these items we need to find. Great, and let's see... I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I need to pick up from here. Yeah, Hint says we're done with this place for now, so let's put our jigsaw part back into place. And this is going to be a uh, simple enough jigsaw puzzle. What you want to do is move these pieces around. So, each robe matches the background. So, you know, green robe in the green background. Purple robe in the purple background. Blue with the blue. Okay, that gave me some of the ingredients. I'm going to be digging over here for some more ingredients. And one of the ingredients is aloe, so let's go back and get that aloe. Oh, and there's a hidden objects challenge. All right, so wool socks, uh, cookies. 
matches. Let's see. Powder or wool hat and a drawing. Oh, drawing there? Scarf, lens, and a bar. There's a bar. There's a scarf. Um, field notes. Binoculars. Powder. Yeah, where are those binoculars at? And then finally the powder's here. So yeah, I did better that time than I did the first time around. Okay, and then there's the aloe. Good, I think that's everything here. So let's go back to the monk and uh, solve this puzzle. What happened here? Hmm, looks like somebody messed everything up. Jeez. And they reset this puzzle, but the puzzle's a little different now. So that makes it a bit more difficult. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna have to do the bottom row like this, because that's the only way I can get the stuff to reach the bottom and reach that spot there. Okay, actually, I think this is easy. Yeah, yeah, we're going left this time. Instead of going right from the start, it's left from the start. Oh, good. Fang's still Fang. safe. What's going on? No, no! Fang, do you know where he is now? Dad or the preacher? Do you know where either of them are? Okay, Dad went to the monastery. Okay, good, good. Okay, well, I have everything here. Let's just start, start the puzzle. Great, so let's see. I need to use that. Not that. Smash that around. Put that in there, put these in there, put this on top, melt it all, then put it in the candle holder. We've already got a wick in place, you can see there. And that should be the candle. Okay, we're gonna light it to make sure it works. It totally does. Good, so let's take one step back here and then put everything on the altar. Let's see, llamas first. First the llamas, then the candle. Woo! And there we go, that's it! Help! The martyrs! Yeah. Hey, how did he get- Oh no! H how did he get my walkie-talkie? Like, I didn't know he was my walkie-talkie buddy. Well, back at the camp. Oh my god! Dan! Claire! He killed them all! I need to get the flute to the monk as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, the preacher has basically just killed everybody as soon as his fake identity was revealed. It was revealed, hey, preacher is not actually a professor. Yeah. So, so I'm not going to go into the tent to mess with him, and I'm not going to go over there. I, I'm going to drive to the monastery. This is basically the end of the bonus game. You made it. I was afraid you wouldn't make. Quick, the flute. Here's your flute, sir. And then Brittany died. Hmm. So I guess it was just a coincidence that she died near that box, the box that was buried in the snow, the one containing the uh, portal piece. Yeah. Huh. Well, what do you know? So, thank you very much for watching me play Enigmatus 3. I've also got videos where I play Enigmatus 2 and Enigmatus 1. You can check those out if you want. I've also played uh, the Nightmares from the Deep trilogy made by the same company, so maybe if you like this trilogy, you'll like that trilogy too. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.